welcome back to our Movie Maker on YouTube series. This program, the last one, is about what you can do with your video on YouTube. I have logged already into my YouTube account. You see it up here, Media Education Net. You see my channel here, but we want to go to the video page. So we click up here, we go to My Videos. This is the overview page of all the videos you have uploaded. It gives you the first information about views, comments, shows you the thumbnail. And what we want to do, we want to change some of the information and extend some things. We go to Edit. On the Edit page, we've got four tabs, Info and Settings, Audio Swap, Annotations, Captions and Subtitles. Info and Settings is very much what you've seen already when you uploaded your video. You can change here again the title, the description, the tags and the category. What you also can change is thumbnails. YouTube automatically chooses one. If you're not happy, you can choose from the other two if you prefer those. And again, a whole setting of privacy options. Only make your video public if you have the written permissions from the parents and if copyright for image and sound is cleared. What you can also do, and you can do that when you upload already, you can put a date with your video. This is useful if you have any school events. And you can put the map location with it. This is very good for exchange projects. So I'll just put my office address in here. Yeah, you would find that, so that looks very good. With an audio swap, we can add a different soundtrack to your video. Only do that if you don't want any of the original sound, interview sound effects, because it takes the whole original soundtrack off. There are hundreds of soundtracks here. You can choose whatever you want and like. Just click on the track you want and you can do a preview here on the right. The sound is very good. The quality is very good. There's one thing to know, it says here on the bottom, Advertisements may be displayed on videos that contain soundtracks from the audio swap library. I haven't seen this before, but you need to be aware of that. Annotations give you the chance to add a couple of things and put them on top of your video. You can add a speech bubble, a note, title, spotlight or a pause. Let's just do a little speech bubble. It's all very easy to do. Click on it, put some text in. You can change the font size, you can change the color of the font, you can change the color of the bubble, and you can change how long it is. You can either do that here with the timing, or you can do it down here. Very easy to do, very useful for extra little bits. If you don't want it, just delete it again. Captions and subtitles gives you the chance to put caption and subtitle tracks on top of your video again in different languages. There is an English machine transcription that doesn't work very well. If you click here and add new captions or transcript, you can upload a text file with the captions. Now you can either do it if it's in English, you just put a text into the text file and it puts it automatically at the right places. That works very well after not loads of times. If it's a different language, you would need a caption file and you would need to put the time codes with it. There is a lot of information in the Help Center, how to do that, how to put the data in. It works very well and it's really useful for exchange projects with other countries, other languages, where you want to bring more information across about your video. I hope this was useful. Check it out, try it out, contact us if you need more help. Thank you.